Good evening, Signor Franco. Count. I've forgotten the many distractions a disgraced banker in disguise can find in Rome. Thank you, Sylvia. A job well done. Count. You know her. Uh, please send Jacopo and Petruccio up as you leave. Immediately. Jacopo and... Take a seat. Uh, at least let me put some clothes on. I said, sit. You were always a crafty one, Donglan, even in Marseille. Marseille? What are you talking about, Marseille? Ask anyone who served on the Ferron. They'll tell you. You were on the Ferron? I never understood what it was old Monsieur Morel saw in you. Can't have been the honest face, can it, Donglan? Who are you? Why, I am the man who has destroyed you, as you destroyed me. You are... You, you, you're the Count of Monte Cristo. You, you cannot be destroyed. But before that, I was just a man. Barely a boy, in fact. A boy you betrayed. A boy I... What are you talking I about? I'm talking about the first mate of the Pharaoh. Dantes. Edmund Dantes. At your service. It was Fernand. Fernand who denounced you, not me. I liked you. I always did. You liked me enough to have me arrested and thrown into the bowels of the Chateau d'If just so no. that you could take my position no. as captain. No, 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 no. You were wrong. Fourteen years, Dongla. Fourteen years without warmth or food or daylight. Oh. Fourteen years of degradation and heartbreak. And for what? Dear God, man, have mercy. Have mercy. Come. You sent for his count. Permit me to introduce my longtime associates and friends, <laughs> Monsieur Batuccio and Jacopo, who, oh. of course, you know. Not much of a man without his britches, is he, Maltese? What, what, what do you want? Uh, why, that which is most precious to you, your money. I, I, I have no money. You left Paris with over a million francs in cash and jewels. Now, where is it? Please, do not make me ask you again. Buried. Buried where? Don't do this, please. Did you not hear my friend's question? Buried where? Just let me get some clothes on and we can you go You shall go as you are. A traveller straying aimlessly across an old, all but forgotten orchard on the outskirts of Rome tonight would witness a most unusual spectacle. Dig, Dongla. <laughs> Even for Rome. I'll be sure you don't waste our time. Oh, it's here. It's here. A man, nondescript, but for his nakedness, oh, no, it's here. digging. Desperately digging as the sun rises slowly over these gnarled and ancient trees. It's all there. This is a saddlebag. All of it. Want me to check, Maltese? I shall take Baron Dongla at his word. The horses, Petuccio. I suppose you're going to kill me now. Fortunately for you, I've resolved never to kill again. Give him a sheet. <coughs> we shall not meet again. <coughs> oh! And as the Count and his companions ride away into the sunrise, the man we know as Baron Danglars sinks to his knees and crawls toward an all but forgotten well, where he pauses before he drinks, wondering as to what it is that is different about the face he sees rippling there. Think, Danglars. Think. And then, with the first fingers of dawn, he realizes My that his once <laughs> dense head of black, black hair has turned completely white overnight. Madame de Morcerf, is it you? Count? Forgive me, I, I did not expect to meet. What brings you to Marseille? To say a final goodbye. 
I leave France tomorrow. For where? The open sea. With no destination. Do you walk here every day? Is that a question, or is it that you already know? It is most fortunate that we meet today, madame. Is it? As I have something here. The glass rose. Thank you for returning it to me. I thought it only right to return it to him who first gave it to me. I am sure that he would be happier if you were to accept it back. The man who gave me that once precious rose is long dead. And forgotten? Him I will never forget. Does this gentleman have a name? Yes. Edmund, he does. You are mistaken, madame. I am the Count of Monte Cristo. And has the Count of Monte Cristo achieved all he set to achieve? He has. Then what punishment can I expect to enjoy? Punishment? That is what you do, is it not? Meet out punishment? And I am easily the guiltiest. You are guilty of nothing. I waited for you, Edmund. I stood here, on this very dock, waiting, praying, to see you come whistling around that corner. For over two years, I petitioned Prosecutor de Villevaux for some news of your fate, but there was never any reply. And in the end, in the end, I had to accept that my darling Edmund was gone. And gone for good. Oh, please, Messi. I never loved him, Fernand. God forgive me, but I never did. But he was so, so insistent. We need not speak. Of so it. persistent to have what he wanted. And then suddenly you are in Paris, and I see at once the suffering that time has scrawled upon that once beautiful face of yours. And I want only to go to you, to kiss you, hold you. But you are changed. So very changed. Don't, Miss Hayley. I feel an emotion I never thought your presence could provoke in me. And that is? Dread, Edmund. Pure and unadulterated. I suffered much as a consequence of your husband's betrayal. Then we are at least companions in that. What shall we do with the rose, Mercedes? Let us give it to the sea. If that is what you want. I want only to live in peace. Shall we? Where will you go now? There is a convent in the mountains. The sisters have kindly offered to accept me. Oh. Oh, be glad. I have found some tranquility there. Then you have been blessed. Go well, Edmund, my one, my only love. Pray for me. And now the Count sits at that quayside. <laughs> and as the hours pass, and the sun rises inexorably towards its zenith, Count. Monsieur Morel. I was told to meet you at my father's offices, October the 5th. Indeed you were. My yacht awaits. Forgive me, monsieur, but I have had enough of this trailing after uh, It'll you. be worth your while, sir. I do assure you. For three hours, most honoured friends, we sail southwest out of Marseille, past the stark white walls of the Chateau d'If, and out toward the line of the furthest horizon. And at the helm, 
Drop anchor on my signal, Jacopo. The Count. Right you are, Montes. Now! <laughs> Maximilian! Where are we? The Isle of Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo? My servants will see you are well looked after. And you? I and the rest of my crew will be sailing on. There is, of course, a boat moored to take you safely back to France. But what am I doing here? For that, you must disembark. Maximilian! Valentine! Maximilian! Go to her! But how can this be? Go to her! They said you were dead. Everybody said you were dead. And who is that waving at us? Why, that is my grandfather. But General Noati is here. He is, and will live with us until the end of his days. Is that not wonderful news? Oh. And now that we have at last understood the wrath and revelation of the Count... It is all wonderful. All of it. You may ask me, most honoured friends, if you will ever be blessed enough to encounter the Count again. And I, Ede, beloved daughter of the Sultan Ali Pasha, loyal and loving companion to the Count of Monte Cristo, can only say that you must wait. My friends. Set course south by southwest. Aye, aye, Maltese. Wait. Do we not have a good wind for a sail? We do, Maltese. We do. And hope. In The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas, adapted by Sebastian Bonchkevich. The Count is played by Ian Glenn, Ede by Jean Lapotere, The Younger Ede by Amber Rose Reva, and Abbe Faria by Richard Johnson. Baron Dongla is Toby Jones, Hermine Dongla, Stephanie Racine, Eugenie, Eleanor Crooks, and Mercedes, Josette Simon. Gérard de Villefort is played by Paul Rees, Eloise de Villefort by Kate Fleetwood, Valentine by Lizzie Watts, and Edouard by Finn Monteith. Max Morel is Adam Nagaitis. Andrea Cavalcanti, Will Howard. Bertuccio, Paul Stonehouse. Jacopo, Joe Sims. And Millie, Sarah Tom. The music is by David Tobin and Jeff Megan. And the directors are Jeremy Mortimer and Sasha Yevtushenko. There's another chance to hear today's final episode of The Count of Monte Cristo next Saturday evening at 9 o'clock and all four parts of the serial will be available via the Radio 4 website for the next seven days.